Hello, I'm here to demonstrate the SysTrack integration with the virtual agent platform that ServiceNow provides. So what this does is show SysTrack data in an easy to use format of a chat conversation uh, that a end user can access from the service portal in ServiceNow. So let's say I am a user and I'm experiencing slowness on my system. So I go into the service portal in ServiceNow, open up a chat conversation, and I say, my system is slow. It pops up with the Systrack Diagnostics topic. So we go in here and the integration automatically goes off and fetches the primary system for the user that is logged in. It returns it and asks the user, is this the problem or the system you are experiencing the problem with? Uh, let's say in this case it's not. Um, it's one of the other systems I use, so it goes off and checks the list of the other systems we have uh, in SysTrack for this user. Let's say here is the system I'm having a problem with. So it goes off, gathers data from SysTrack um, about that system, and then it displays it to the user. The average health score over the last week. Um, if there are any system or any disks on the system that are near in capacity, so they're filling up. Uh, when, how long the system's been up, so when it was last record or last restarted, and if there's any application faults. So in this case, um, we see the health score is good. They don't have large impacts in health, uh, but because the system hasn't been restarted in a while and is does have a disk that is full, it recommends cleaning out some unnecessary files and restarting the computer to see if that solves the issues that they're experiencing. In the case it doesn't, they can automatically have a ticket created by clicking yes there, enter a description. System is slow. Uh, and that'll create an incident you see right here with that system automatically populated in it. So our other integrations can use that to go grab a snapshot and resolve, and a support person can use all that information to go help and diagnose this user's problem. So me as an end user without any real technical knowledge has been able to automatically create um, some information for support to help me diagnose my issues, or I could have fixed the issues by restarting my system or cleaning out some stuff and not had to involve support at all.